Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Mental Sweat Show. Today we are joined by two of our former, uh, well, actually, one only one of our former teammates and and current Oregon Duck, Casey Rogers and Jackson Powers Johnson, uh, and they got to settle a little bit of beef uh, in in the academia world. Um, apparently, you know, they started a feud that. May have started on the practice field, may start in the weight room. No one knows exactly where it started. I guess I'll let them get to that. Uh, but it carried over to the golf course, it's carried to the bowling alley. And now today we will be asking them trivia. But before we get into that, I'll pass it to these guys to kind of kick us off and give us a little background as to how this all started. You see, I'm just better at Jackson and everything. So he couldn't <laughs> believe that. So he just said, you know what, I'm going to try to face you and everything. And then, unfortunately, I have a bad day at golf, and he, he tries to expose me. But then I get back at him at the bowling alley. And then I was like, you know what? Like, you can't be smarter than me. I've been in college for 10 years, so I'll just do you in an academic decathlon, and that's how we're here. Yeah, uh, I think I have a slight disadvantage. You know, he's been on this earth 10 more years than I have. So um, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but I'm just going to try and give him my best effort. That's, that's Master fair. versus Jack. It's a Master versus Jack situation here. Yeah. Exactly. And I mean, but, but so who won the golf and who won the bowling? Just so we know where we're standing with this whole thing. So I, I, uh, I won by a great margin in, uh, Might have. in, in Debatable. golf, you know, it was, a uh, I, I played great, you know, I was feeling it. So, but he got me in the bowling. He got me in the, you know, the easier sport. Um, but we'll see what happens now. Do you guys think bowling's easier than golf? Yes. Yes. Golf is the hardest, one of the hardest one, one of the hardest sports, sports on on the planet. <laughs> All right, but that's a whole You're different right. can of worms. We are here for the match phase three. Everybody, that, fellas, audience, time academic to buckle decathlon. up. This is we, the academic decathlon, oh, and yeah. these are two of the smartest brains in the country. Put on my not right, be a not facts, one. opinion. Brad, right, so let's, let's run do through, it. Let's run through the rules real quick before we kick us off. Uh, the academic decathlon uh, is first to score 10 points. For every question you get right, you get one point. Uh, I will start by uh, flipping a coin to figure out who goes first. Uh, I'll ask a question to whoever starts. If you get the question right, you get a point. If you get it wrong, you uh, the other person has a chance to steal. And if they get it wrong, we just go to the next question. But if they get it right, um, then they get the point. And then Nate will ask the question to the original person. I know that already sounds very confusing, but this is why this is a decathlon. All right. Uh, who wants to be heads? Who wants to be tails? We'll do the official coin toss right now. Before we start, Jackson, did you get a trophy for winning uh, for winning your game, your golf match there? So I got a trophy oh. for winning mine. Well, okay. We'll have to come up with a mental sweat trivia trophy, academic just, decathlon just trophy. Just a dirty, just a sweaty towel <laughs> as a trophy. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, you want to go, Casey, you want to be heads, Jackson, your tails. Perfect. Yes. All right. Um, I don't actually have a coin with me, but I have a bottle cap. So, uh, the bottom half. As you can see, our budget's a lot here. We, we right have there. a, we have a huge production budget here at the mental sweat show. <laughs> all right, here we go. And it's, uh, it's tails. You can see Seems a little fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. that, that's me then. Yeah, Jackson, you're starting this off. Oh, all right. Let's get it. Good. Plus all right. one plus one. Like uh okay, and, and then the last thing is these questions are a little bit college football related, a little Oregon football related, a little just general Oregon, and just a little bit of uh, you know, just general funny, funny questions as well. So uh we'll kick us off. Um, we'll start, we'll start easy to get you guys on the board. Mm. Yeah. You have to start you with Jackson. Oh he's, he's yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, war stressed out. Warm them up, Brad. Warm them up. All right. Uh, who is speaker of the house? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Or now I can tell you who it was. I can't do it. Tell you who it is now. Not the question. Okay. No, 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 Brad. All right. All right. No, that was a joke. I, I, Nate and I were talking about that before. I was no about to say. I was going to say Nancy Pelosi. It was her, but it's not it's the new guy. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Mike Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson. I should have known that. Then, my last name. 
Shouldn't I should have known that. I knew that, actually. All right. No, you okay. guys aren't real Americans. Okay. Hey, you said, <laughs> I thought this was going to be, uh, like, that was totally out of left field. I thought it was going to be, like, who were number 58 before Jackson Powers Johnson at Oregon? It was a who the Speaker of the House. <laughs> uh, wow. All right. No, all right. Real, now I'm real awake. Quick, real question coming your way, Jackson. Who are the three teams going to the ACC next year? Oh. Oh, this is so bad. Uh, three teams going to the ACC this year. Wow, I have no, I have no <laughs> idea. I have no idea. Wait, let's see. Um, it's somebody in the West. There's one person in the West. Um, they're going to the Big Twelve. They're going to the Big Twelve. ACC. Yeah. No. Oh, no I'm, your your mental checklist here. Yeah, I'm, I'm mental checklisting here. Um, you know. This is catastrophic because if Alex Forsythe watches this, he's taught me nothing. So I'm I, I have no idea. I think I know one of them. Oh, he's throwing up right now. Alex is throwing no, up right Alex now. Is throwing his... up right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm have to defer. I've I've no idea. No idea. All right. I, AC, you shot a steal. If I get one, do I get like no three thirty three percent of a point? No, you don't. Right, I don't. Is it is one of them SMU? It is. Yes. Yes. There's two more. Boys, come this on! Is... We're just someone. Focused, was... We're just focused on the ducks right now. All right, they, they are focused <laughs> on the one and zero process. That's uh, great for scouts I, to see. Well, I feel like I feel like it's going to be something that's like doesn't make sense at all. And I'm trying to think of teams that aren't in conferences anymore. That's what I'm saying. And the only and the only teams that would make sense would be either group of five or power five conferences. That so like could be. It's not Oregon State. Is Oregon State one? No, it's the Pac two. Their coach. Back to <laughs> so good. I don't know. It's All the... right, I got a timer. We'll finish. Any guesses? No, I have no idea. This is right, answer. Uh, I don't. I don't think anyone gets points for that one. It's uh, it's Stanford, Cal, and SMU. Oh, yeah. So oh, that's what I mean. Like, it doesn't make sense. No, yes, it makes Casey. No sense. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we'll get a great rivalry game next year where uh. Stanford flies to uh, the mighty Syracuse Orange for a November conference game. So that will be fun to watch. Big game. All right. New coach. That uh, We thought that was going to be an easy one. But, Brad, maybe we should go a little easier here, huh? It's Let's gonna, go yeah, away. Like this is going to be a long podcast. This is going to be a long podcast. Yes. All right. We're going to go with – this is going to be kind of mm-hmm. trivia – Okay, it's Casey's say, turn. Who is the speaker of the house? That is hilarious. <laughs> Casey, what was Nike originally named? Blue Ribbon Sports. Oh, very go. good. Well, oh, dude, we need we need sound effects. Damn it. All right, maybe maybe in post we can add it in. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I'm like, one one right, point, point to Casey. One, one point, smart guy. Got it. Um. <laughs> all right. This is actually so now it's Jackson's turn. Okay. All right, Jackson. Who is the current president of the University of Oregon? Oh, <laughs> it's like President Shul. It's like President Shul or Shiel. That was the last president. Oh, see. I, Why is it always new a, people? Yeah, it's a new. I have no idea. I have no idea, and I'm. If the president of the university is watching this, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. And, uh, I don't know your name. I would love to. I would love to meet you. Uh, no idea. Is it a Johnson? You said who? I don't know. I'm. I, Wait, I, who did I, you I guess at first? Who'd you guess at first? President Shul or Shiel Shul. Shiel was, was the Shiel was the former Oregon president. Yes. I feel like I should get a point for that. They just named a new one though. Yeah, just named. Recently, yeah, I was for this. I was focused because on we're Pac-12 championship, okay? Because we're football guys, he was the president for the entire football season. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. I'm only all right. No, for... no points to the fellas. No points to the fellas. Uh, Brad, answer please. Brad's oh. frozen. <laughs> Brad is frozen. <laughs> All right, um, he's frozen. He'll be back. But the answer was uh, Schultz, Carl Schultz. Oh, I was close. You were close. You were close. Schultz. You were close. Schultz. And he was a Big Ten guy. He was a Wisconsin guy. So that's why Casey didn't know him. 
All right. <laughs> Casey is up. The score is 1 0. We'll uh, wait till Brad gets back on here. All right. Sorry, folks. My freaking Wi Fi out here is garbage. Uh, no points on that one. They don't know. They're fearless leaders of the University of Oregon. So we're moving on. <laughs> this, the score is still 1 0, Casey. So now, I think we're on question three. Mm -hmm. No, question four. What game did LeBron James attend in 2011 oh, in Oxen? This is easy. In Oxen? We're asking the and... opponent, yes. 2011, LeBron James you're, came to town. You're giving easy ones here. Oh, man, I'm not. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm... It wasn't, oh, I don't was it, U was it USC? I don't, I don't know. Like, that's that's be way before I was here. Brad, sound effect, ding! Yes, it was there USC. There we go. It was USC. Was it really it was USC? USC. USC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Z, I got that. So I, I was paying attention seven years he ago, was. or whenever, how long ago that was. I only, I only um, knew that because Chief, Chief told us about it. So Yes, shout out Chief and Travis, men with unlimited knowledge. So now the score is 2-0, Casey Rogers. The former transfer, by the way, the guy who didn't come here straight out of high school. Yeah, no, he's, he's, um, he's getting easy. I'm getting hard questions, but continue. It's fine. All right, okay. Brad. All right, Brad. All right. We'll, we'll, okay, we'll, we'll dial you up. Um, all right. This is towards Jackson. It's, what is it, 2-0, right? Yep, 2-0, um, Casey. Okay. At the end of the first quarter, coming home, parentheses, Oregon plays in Austin Stadium. Jumbo Tron features a very cool music video. Who sings that song? Matt Kearney. That's correct. Correct. Okay, Jackson. That's I, good. That's I good. give you that one. That was good. I had no idea. Good answer. All right, now 2-1. All right, moving on to Casey. Um, okay, this might be hard for you coming from the Big Ten, but name the original eight teams in the Pac-8. Oh, what? The original eight teams in the Pac-8. All right. Um, so I'm going to go USC, UCLA, uh, Cal, Stanford. How many do I just named? Four. Halfway there. Uh, that was just four. All right. Uh, was Oregon? Uh, Arizona State? No. Oh, no, 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 no. At, He's up. Yeah, I think that's a miss there. That's yeah, a miss. That's a, that's a yeah, miss. That's, a miss. that's five. You got five. Okay. Yes. Now Jackson, your chance for a rebuttal. Can I just to tie get things one, up? Get one to tie it. Or you just... have to. You have to finish the eight. You have to finish. Okay, the eight. so he went right. USC, UCLA, Cal, Stanford, Oregon, Washington. Mm hmm. That was, that was my next one. And then we had two more, right? Uh, it was not Colorado. Um. I'm going to go great state of Utah. No, they were in the mountain. No, they were in the mountain West. Oh, oh yeah, so cool. dude, you're, dude, you're, wait, was it Arizona? No, you just got to group this teams. It's Oregon, Oregon state, Wazoo, oh, Utah. I didn't think Oregon state was, I didn't, I didn't think Wazoo was in there. I didn't think USC, it was, USC, yeah, UCLA, Wazoo. Stanford, Cal. So all, for all you beavers and cougars listening out there, you guys are really, uh, on an island now because we don't even think of you as a Pac-12 school. <laughs> Dude, right, I mean, we're going to get exposed, bro. People are going to think we're idiots. I am an idiot. I've also taken a lot of hits. so I'm gonna... uh, I'm also, I also grew up on the East Coast. If you would have asked me the original Big East teams, that would have been way better, but all good. Even I don't know. That. Uh, <laughs> all right, Brad. We got 2-1. Casey still leads. This is... Uh... Jackson, correct? No. Oh, yes. Who's the last coach to win Pac-12 Coach of the Year from Oregon? Okay, well, it's not... I don't think it's Mario. I don't think it's uh, Taggart. Um, it's either Chip or it's... Um, starts with an S. I'm going to say Chip. I'm going to say Chip. There we go. That's correct. Let's go. Yeah, I was going to say chip. Tied We're up. tied. Tied two to two. Two to two. Oh, we got a long way to go. Um. Okay. 
Casey. Yes, sir. Since we're moving to the Big Ten, back to the Big Ten for you. Oh, come yeah. on. What state is the Big Ten headquartered in? Oh, this is easy. It is in Indianapolis, Indiana. It's no? In, it's in That's o- where the conference is. It's Ohio. It's in Ohio. No. no. Or is it's it in Illinois? It's in Rosemont, Illinois. Oh, oh, the, oh, you know, they play the Big Ten Championship in Indiana. Yeah, Indiana that was in Ohio. Wow, wow. That was that was a big miss. We're still tied 2-2. Two to two. The, My friends from SOC Oops. are going to be pissed at me on that one, so my bad. Brad, are we going to go to 10 or are we going to go to 5? We might run out of questions. No, we're good. We'll, we'll, they'll, start, they'll start hitting them. They just got to yeah, the They'll hit some. Oh, they'll get there. How did I not know that? All right, now to Jack. Guess though, Indiana would be a good. Indianapolis would be a good guess. It's, it's a good prime guess. Big Ten country. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. the NC. I think uh, the NCA is headquartered there. They're in Indianapolis. All right, the NCA. Yeah. Close. Um, same difference. All right, Jackson. This is for this is for you. Uh, everyone knows Phil Knight is one of uh, Oregon's biggest alumni. University of Maryland also has an alumni who started a global athletic apparel brand. What brand? Did uh, the University of Maryland alumni start? Not Adidas because that's German. Um, Under Armour. Yes, oh, that is correct. Go. There we go. There we go. Three, two. Jackson you know, comes back. Do you know his name? No, I don't. This doesn't. Do you? Are we going to? Are we going to give a bonus point no, if we if no, he gets his name? <laughs> Brad? Yeah, I know his name. Do you know his name, Casey? Yeah, that's like yeah. Well, with Maryland, yeah, Kevin Plank, he uh, he's a big lacrosse guy. So. Yeah, and uh, yeah, by the way, yeah. everyone listening out there, Casey was an All American lacrosse player. I just had to put it yeah, out. Yeah, that's why I'm not jealous with you getting all these All American awards because I've been there, done that, dog. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, now three, now to Casey. Here we go. <laughs> okay, Brad, what are we are we thinking? There's some good ones on here. Um, okay, here's a, here's a good one. In 2010, since the Heisman Trophy is coming up this Saturday, going back to 2010, which Oregon football player finished third in the Heisman voting? Mm. I know who won the Heisman Trophy in 2010, I think. I, bro, I have no – this is like the Oregon history that I don't know. I'm, I, don't even, I don't even want to say a name because – uh, it will be so far off. But I know did Troy Smith win the Heisman that year? Was that Troy Smith Heisman year? No, no. Oh, that, okay, that was too tough. Should we give him the with a winner, Brad? No, I got it. I want to steal. J- oh. Jackson can steal. Yeah. J- All right, now I rebuttal. I think I'm going to go with Michael James. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. That, that's what I was going to guess, but I didn't want to say it and have it be like five Should've years guessed. off. Like Should have guessed. Should have guessed. The fans already hate you from the first couple questions. Just should have, just should have kept the the hate up. All, all right, so what are we at now, Brad? Three two, I'm winning. Three two, Jackson. Three, two. The guy Jackson. with the Oregon trivia. Is it three two or four two? Oh, it might be four. No, it's three two. No, it's could, three no, two. No. Don't even try to do that, Jackson. Because he, he, does, he so he doesn't go off. Oh, yeah, you know, what? I think I did hit it in the three. No, Jackson. Maybe, that was maybe six. I did. Maybe I did par that. No, you tripled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, here's here's a good one. The uh, movie Animal House was filmed on University of Oregon's campus. In the mm. movie, what was the name of the fraternity that the uh, Animal House was uh, associated with? Delta House. Dude, this is my question. The Delta House, right? All right, dude. Way to answer. Casey to steal. Oh, I thought that was my question. No, 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 no. It was Jackson's question. I don't know. The Alpha House. Who's Del- Oh, so close, boys. It's the Omega House. Oh. <laughs> I, I swear so... it was the Delta. Okay. The Omega. You guys got some movies to watch. No, yes, I watched we do. it. We have some Countless studying times. to do. Eh? I, I thought it was the Delta House. My bad. All right. You might, you might want to just give us a list of stuff to study and we'll re record this so people don't go. These guys. <laughs> no, are no. No, this is great. This is great. So, all right, let's get uh, – this is kind of a trivia question. So, you guys are big guys. You know, you guys got to eat a lot of food to keep your weight during the season. Um, so, 
the infamous restaurant in Eugene, Fat Shack. I know we've all been there um, on a late night. So the Fat Shack sandwich at Fat Shack is how many calories? Oh, I... Closest to the pin. Bro. Uh, oh, closest to the pin. All right. All right. I have a pretty good one. I'm going to say uh, 1,200. I'm going to go 1,700. Wow. Jackson. 1,640. So I win. So Jackson went over. Yes. I win. No, nope. closest to the pin. Closest, closest to the, to the uh, pin. Just like golf. Well, Just like golf. Well, yeah. The- yeah, take a look at Jackson's stomach and you'll know why he won that one. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> all right, all right. Four two, Jackson. We'll get to ten. We'll get to ten. We got some. We got some other good questions here. All right, Brad. Far, far away. Um. All right. Uh. These are. I'm. I'm, I'm like teetering on the edge of picking one that's a little too hard versus one that I think they can get. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh. Who? Is the only Lombardi Trophy Award winner in Oregon history? Lombardi Trophy. Is is there any way I could get a hint? Whose uh, question is this? It's mine. No, because the last wasn't the last. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, you're right. It is yours. What? Can I get a hint? It's in. Um, it's. Well, yeah, we'll give them both context. So he, we, pl- we played with him. And he played defense. Oh, sh- You didn't, but me and Brad did. Yeah, okay. Can we tell him what team? They went, or would that give it away, actually, probably? Mm. Did he, uh... Well, before Jackson, I feel like. It was, yeah, no, that's a good one. I'm trying to... So that, that narrowed down 2018-2019. Can teams. I pick, can I just say, if I get this, can I say his jersey number? Because I don't really know how to pronounce his name. His no, it, it, this is this is Jackson. This is Jackson's question. Casey will get a rebuttal. Casey will um, get a rebuttal. If you gave me a position, I would know, but that'd be. Do you have a guess? Okay, so it's got to be somebody kind of well known because it's excellence. So, um, let me think. Cause it's not Kayvon because I played with Kayvon. It's not. Uh, is it Javon Holland? Close. That's a close. That's a, oh, it's a good I, guess, but close. I know. Who, I think I know who it is. Then Casey rebuttal. He has a crazy name, doesn't he? He does have a crazy name. He's number seven. He is number seven. I don't know his name, but I know he's number seven. I was just looking at this <laughs> the other day. Doesn't count. It's. Well, I don't know how to pronounce get, his name. It's like get, it starts with an O, and his last, his last name is like A M something M I D. You're so close. Just give us a name. You give know. us a name, and we'll give you a point. If we don't care about pronunciation. As, at least I, you're at least you're close. I feel like he's got there in the play. like he's so like he basically is like yeah, he, 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 he has he point. has it. He I has it. On, I saw it on Twitter. I, I was like I don't know. I couldn't even remember <laughs> even start <laughs> like, to pronounce Omandi, his name. Omandi. Uh, Omandi. Um, Ahmed. Ahmed. Uh, something with an O. Some crazy name and an Ahmed. I don't even know. Hey, we'll, we'll give you the point. It's uh, Ugo Amadi. Oh, Amadi. Amadi. but his Amadi. his first name is Ugo Chuku. So Ugo yes. Chuku. Yeah. Um. So yeah, number seven defense. Yeah, you got okay. Four three. Now Casey, that was a that was a good question. Good. I, I'm surprised you guys. There you not, go. The, there we go. Literally not like. Isn't it three three two, now? Two days ago, I saw that on Twitter. You're up four three, Jackson. Oh, I'm up four three. Sorry, my bad. Yes, yes, yes. All right, Brad. Fire away. Oh, it's me. It's me to Casey. Okay. I could give you just an easy alley oop, but okay. I'm good with that. Um, no, let's. Uh, expansion is so big in college football. Oh. Um. So name, but this will be easier. Name three. Actually, name four of the seven new teams in the Big Twelve expansion. In the Big Twelve, seven. So there's seven new teams. Yep, Give me yep. four. Right. Houston, Cincinnati. Uh, are we kind of like the the new, like the ones that are in there right now? This year and next year. Counts. All right. So uh, Utah and, Ari- and Arizona. Correct. Yeah. All right. Four, four. Casey with the comeback. That was, that was the, the BYU. 
Yeah, BYU, Cincy, UCF, Colorado, UCF, Colorado, uh, yeah. Utah, ASU, and Arizona. Pretty uh, wild conference there. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, all right, we're tied. It's getting good now. See, you guys, you just need to get the brains warmed up. You know, get, get the- you guys are so focused on hitting people all day. You just need to get the brains working again. Brain flex. Yeah. And now Brad's going to hit you with the different branches of the United States government. I got that. Yeah. That's easy. I get that. That's what I'm talking about. Third grade level questions. Can you? <laughs> All right. Um... Don't ask that, Brad. No, but if we want to go outside football questions, we can start asking some outside of football questions for sure. I'm cool with that. I would, yeah. All right. All right. Let's do that. Um... Okay. What publicly traded company has the biggest market cap in the world on the New York Stock Exchange? Not that outside of football, Brad. Publicly traded? It's actually pretty – like everyone knows this company, so it's Amazon. I'm actually going to double-check the answer right now. It's either Amazon or Apple. This is good podcasting, Brad. He said said Amazon. It's either Amazon or Apple. No, don't say Apple. Just Amazon for him. I feel like you got to pick one. Amazon. Brad? It's incorrect. Yeah, it's incorrect. Apple? Yeah, it's Apple. Oh, come uh, on. Yeah, that should, that should, I gave him the answer. Really? I would not actually. I, I was thinking it would have no, been Amazon. No, you wouldn't have. You no, said. no, because you said it, because you said it a uh, second, we'll uh, disqualify. All right. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have a good balance of football here, though. Um, speaking of bowl games, you know, you guys are headed to Fiesta Bowl, but we played in the lowest score, scoring bowl game oh, in Oregon this history. Is so easy. Casey, give me the score of the lowest scoring bowl game in Oregon history. Oh, oh and what bowl? And what bowl? I don't know. It's a Red Box Bowl. It was a red and, box ball. I don't, I don't know what the exact score was, but wasn't it like seven, seven to nothing, three, seven nothing? Is that know. your final answer? No, it's. It, it, I don't know. I just know it was a red box ball. Okay, Jackson for the point. Seven six. Correct. It was the one of the worst games <laughs> I've ever been a part of. Oh, Jackson, and who's and who scored the touchdown? I don't know. Brad Yaffe. No, no, I wish it was uh, Justin. It was Justin Herbert to Dylan Mitchell. Yeah, I can't tell you. It didn't Dylan Mitchell wear thirteen. Yeah, 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 he he uh, he had an amazing year that year. He was yeah. awesome. All right, so it's uh, five four now for Jackson. Yeah, halfway there. All right, getting, is this that a great time? What were the bowl gifts for that? Yeah, what were the bowl uh, gifts for that? A, a backpack year subscription to Redbox. Some, I think a watch and some sunglasses. I don't know. Something yeah, like it, it wasn't. It wasn't uh, the most extravagant gifts. It was a cheese it bowl like the year before, so we thought we were going to the cheese it bowl, but they changed it. <laughs> what, like, what, oh. did you guys, what did you guys get for Pac-12 championship this year? Uh, beats. beats, our third oh, pair nice. this year. I gotta say the the Oregon ones are pretty sweet. The green wings, shout those are super, awesome. Shout out to Brina and Haronis. Yeah. All right, Brad. What do you got for him? Five four. All right. Uh, speaking of Beats, what company bought Beats? Apple. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. That is correct. Brad's throwing alley oops here. We gotta keep it. Gotta keep it. I didn't. I honestly thought that was gonna be harder than what it. When, I only know that I because did. of uh. They sell the them movie. at the Apple Store. I because of the movie Straight Outta Compton. All right, six four Jackson to Casey. Um, okay. How many, pa- or how many Pac-12 defensive players of the year have Oregon has, and who are they? They oh, are crushing me with that's these. That's a, you should just give Oregon. them a number. Give them a number and see if you can name They play, they play, there's two. Can you name them? And they are big dudes. Easy. This is so easy. Kayvon, I mean, Kayvon. Yeah. And then, mm. uh, bro, dude, I don't know like the people before him. Um, and the, so it had to have been a D lineman. I'm, I don't know, but I'm gonna say uh, DeForest. Uh, is it was it Buck Buckner? No, nah, was it DeForest? You have to, DeForest is one. 
No, but he said the it, first one was wrong, so he's he 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 got. X'd. Oh, Kayvon was not one. Kayvon was not one. Okay, oh, then. All right, got it. All right, rebuttal. Trust him. Rebuttal. DeForest Buckner, Helodinata. Correct. See, you, you boys up front need to start watching some old film. Helody was one of the most dominant defensive linemen I've ever seen. Helody, I remember Coach Helody, Joe. Helody and me have the same hometown, both from Utah. Coach Joe would show us that film. I'd be like, this man. They, I hear the stories about how they couldn't even – he couldn't even practice because he would, like, just mess up the offensive plays so much in practice. Mm-hmm. Man among boys. Um, All right. What are we at? 6-4 now, Jackson? Yeah. Pulling away? 7-4. 7-4. 7-4, Jackson. Pulling away. All right, Brad. All right. Here's one for your, you guys that might be difficult. Who is the owner of the Dallas Mavericks? Oh, this is easy. Oh. Uh, Mark Cuban. Just nope. sold it. I don't know who he, he just sold it to. He sold a percentage of it, but it's still Mark Cuban. Sold his entire stake, I think. Oh, well, I have no idea. Oh, wait, Did, <laughs> is it someone, is it someone, is it somebody who is like... Trick question, Brad. I know, a little bit of a trick question. I don't know. I don't know, basketball. No, wait, did he send it, did he sell it to someone kind of famous? Um, not like extremely famous. No, then I don't know. Okay. Ryan yeah. Walk. <laughs> no, Ryan Walk did not buy uh, the majority stake in the uh, uh, Dallas Mavericks. Brad yeah, answer? So it's a Miriam Adelson. Oh, I should have known that. Yeah. <laughs> should All right. You? No, you shouldn't. You don't know who that All is. All right, back, back to sports. You know I'm the sports guy on this podcast. This is college football history, and I'll be ashamed if you guys don't know this. And I, I know Jackson will know this, but this is a quest- Casey question. So, what of Oregon li- gonna know this. What, what uh-huh. Oregon linebacker scooped and scored the infamous fumble at the one yard line against Utah in 2014 and brought it back for a touchdown? Oh, I don't know who it is. This is a famous play in college football history. Wait, who dropped it? No, no, no. I can tell you, Dude, dropped Michael, it. Michael Michael Clay dropped it, oh. and Oregon linebacker it picked it up my- and returned it to the house. Dude, I thought you were talking about Tony Washington Jr.'s uh, Rose Bowl pickup. I I, no, no, he's your bro, coach. That'd been too obvious. I don't. I thought you were going to go with the Brady Breeze with the Rose Bowl. Um, is it a big name? No. Obviously, he he no. played in the league for like I think he he played in the league for a good I can tell of you so. what number he was. I don't know. Jackson can have it. I know he was number forty-seven. He- Incorrect. No, no rebuttal. Okay, this is actually horrible because I witnessed it. Were you at the game? I was there. I was three rows up. <laughs> I was there. Number thirty-five, Joe Walker. Yeah, no, yeah. That, I. You said Ryan Walk. <laughs> ah, I knew it. <laughs> All right, Walk. we're still. Yeah, that's Coach Walk to you, Casey. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, Coach. still seven four, Brad. Right. We're gonna play a little closest to the pin again on this one. Uh, I like Ooh. this one. Uh, the adult human body has typically how many bones? Casey? Oh. Shoot, I fucking... Oops, sorry, I swear. You can burp that up. Uh, I, dude, yeah. I totally... Got, should, 211. Dude, that's pretty close. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go... 230. It's 206. Yeah, good job, Casey. Casey, there we go. 75, correct. The comeback. So I have a little bit more because my bones have broken into other bones. <laughs> my finger exactly. has like six bones in then one knuckle. Yeah, so for you, it's 211. But yes. yes, yes. I was just counting mine. Sorry. <laughs> okay. The, you guys should get this one. When we, we talked about expansion, you know I love expansion. But this year, Pac-12, last year the Pac-12. Who finished – this is a Casey question, right? hmm Casey, who finished last in the Pac-12 this year? Um, I know it's hard to see from all the way at the top of the Pac-12, but who finished know, last? Right? It's like I got to look down the mountain here. Oh. <laughs> Was it My Colorado? Voice. Correct. Wow. It was Colorado. The comeback, after starting, comeback, after yeah. starting three and zero, 
Yeah, dude, look, what, look, what, look what my fake punt did to them. <laughs> exactly. That was the downfall of Colorado football this year. It Casey been, Rogers' just, fake punt. It would have been, cool. been, cool oh, been cool if you... It uh, would have been cool if you scored. Scored like, a touchdown. I almost did, so... Yeah, no yeah. big deal. Uh, all right, now, 7-6. Brad, what do you got for us? I, I see you looking down at the phone. I know you've been cooking up some good uh, trivia. Yeah, JPJ is can losing I, can his... Can I get uh... some Oregon trivia? Yeah, yeah you can give him question. all the Oregon trivia. I keep getting bombarded with it. Okay. Um, Ty Burrell is a famous Oregon alum. This is easy. I don't even know where you're going with this. He is in the show... He was famously in the show Modern Family. Uh-huh. What was his job in that show? Oh, he was a realtor. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah, I love, it. I, I, love didn't, I, didn't, I love I didn't even know that. Yeah, he's a realtor. 8-6, yeah. 8-6, eight, 8-6, six, eight, six, eight, six, eight, six. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, I don't even watch that show, so I'm so happy you didn't ask me that. <laughs> All right, Brad, I, you, you have the non-football questions, so you go with Casey here. You got yeah, a good I mean, one for Casey. Come on, Brad. Okay. All right. Um, I'm literally just working on the top of my head because we didn't even prep these now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we thought the Oregon trivia would be a little better. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, geez, I'm kind of drawing a blank. It's even harder to come up with questions than answers. <laughs> um, all right. What number was seven McGee when he first came to Oregon. What the fuck was a seven? Um was he number seven? Number seven. He was not. <laughs> well they recruited him in like twenty ten when he was in like sixth grade. <laughs> Jackson sure they didn't... That's not that's actually not true. He was always seven, but I'll think. No, he wasn't seven because of uh, C.J. Verdell. It's number seven. Uh, if I had to guess, I think it was eleven. No, 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 no. Oh, he I said th- it. You said the it. The real question should have been how many times 11. has he been in the portal? Eleven. Eleven. No, 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 no. Eleven. Zero. He was number zero. Yeah. I was thinking of uh, TJ's old number thirty-four, which would have been a great, which would have yes. been a great question. That that would that's a good trivia question. All right, Jackson, I got some Oregon trivia for you. All right, going, kind of going back in the archives on this one. So, since you're an Oregon fanatic, mm. what years were the last three Duck Fiesta Bowls? Ooh, okay, that is crazy. <laughs> we uh, suck. Oh my okay, god! So I know. I can I just last name. Three, can I try and name one of those? Tough. Last two, last one. two, Brad. Last, just give me one. Last one. No, no, it's last two. Last two. Last one is too easy. Okay. Well, I know you know what championship. No, was it twenty? I don't. I just know it's twenty thirteen. Can you give me the opponent? The year is going to be hard. Kansas State. And. Oh, 2013. I said 2013. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two, no, just give us the opponents. Give us the two opponents from the last two Duck Fiesta Bowls. Uh, Kansas State, and uh, can you give me a hint? Uh, Brad, would that give it away? Uh, no, I think you give me a hint. Same conference as Kansas State. Oh, not. Yeah, that's not a. Kansas State was 2012. And it was more recent than that. I don't know. Oh, oh, they didn't win. It was, it, oh, Brock Purdy. This is in 20, uh, 2020. Oh, he's circling the wagons. <laughs> he's so close. 2020. Because it's either, okay, I'm not, give me a final answer. either Iowa or Iowa State. You got to give me a final answer here, buddy. I know. This could be the dagger, Iowa too. Iowa State. Oh. 
Very good. Yeah. The Brock yeah. Purdy. When you said Brock Purdy, I was like, "Come on, you got it." <laughs> I remember. I remember, right. remember that one. Jackson is up nine to six. The right. fat ladies warming up the warming up the pipes, Casey. Casey, so. I may have money bet on you now at this point, and we're gonna take you <laughs> to the top right now. Sounds good. Let's do it. It's a little Three bit of a pop, pop culture question. Oh, great. But it's also a little football related. All right, cool. Who does Alex Earl date? Oh, <laughs> I know. Well, I, I, Jackson, all right, I, Ryan, uh, I'm going to guess, but I really want to know why Jackson knows this. <laughs> okay. Uh, did he? Okay. Is this. I haven't where... guessed yet, but I'm going to say uh, Ryan Walk. <laughs> No, okay, so... Brad, you gotta give him a better lob than that. Come on. Okay. Uh, I thought that was gonna be easier. My bad. Oh. No, no, this is no. Related Casey... to, this is related to TikTok, right? Yeah, she's a TikToker. Allison Cooch. No, it's Braxton Darius. Oh, but... Braxton I was, thinking, Darius. I was thinking about the other one, then. Yes, you were thinking about the other one. I don't know okay. who Alex Earl is. I'm an <laughs> engaged man with yeah. one woman Come on, on my Brad. Uh, all right, back to Jackson. Nine to nine to six. He can put this on, away. Jason. Put it away. He can put this away. So you had a great year with Troy Franklin this year at receiving. Yep. He broke a lot of records. Yep. Who is the career receiving record holder for the Oregon Ducks? <laughs> Troy Franklin. <laughs> Troy Franklin. Incorrect. No, wait. You just, he just broke that. Career. He oh. broke the single season. Oh, okay. We'll get here. Okay. Uh, receipt. Okay, it's not. Oh, DeAnthony Thomas. It was not DeAnthony Thomas. This is this is kind of hard. This is Sammy Parker. Yeah. He has almost three thousand yards. Yeah. I, I thought I thought I wanted to make it a little harder, but I thought you would. Thought you'd be close. I, th- no, I, th- I thought you were like. I thought you said season. That was a trick question. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Single season would be too easy because they it's been it's Troy. Come on. Yeah. All right, Brad. You you All got right. money on the man. You got to help him out here. All right, ja- Casey. Jackson's that close. I'll have to take more Oregon football history classes when yes. I go I'm back just... to college for my tenth this... year. <laughs> Eleven. Um, this female superstar was just awarded Times Person of the Year. Oh, easy. Taylor Swift. There we go. Travis there we Kelsey go. Confidence really booster. That is Com- a confidence Com- booster. Right there, confidence man. booster. I'm ready to rock. Nine to seven. Nine to seven. All right, back to Jackson. So, my AirPods. Heisman I'm Trophy. So long, my AirPods yeah. are starting to hurt. <laughs> Bo Nix is yeah, headed to New York this weekend. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. In two thousand one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there an echo? I hear the echo. There we go. There we go. Um, in 2001, Jackson, an Oregon Duck finished fourth. Who was that Oregon Duck in the Heisman Trophy voting? Oregon legend. Joy Harrington. And that, folks, wraps up the academic Dang. decathlon with Jackson winning 10 to 6. Joey, 10 to 7. Joey Harrington is correct. Wow. Congratulations, Jackson. That was that that then that's a tough question to finish with. That's uh going back in the archives that a little bit because two thousand one is was, over twenty years ago now. That was my first before year. I was wow. born. That was before you were born, which is just a crazy thing. But I also bonus question, Jackson. Huh? <laughs> Jackson, I did Jackson, I did want to test your knowledge one more time. So what Oregon wide receiver made the return trip to Austin in 2017 when he played for Utah? He played at Oregon. Made the wait. Then he Say that one more time. Oregon wide receiver. Yeah. Left the team, went to Utah, came back in 2017, fumbled, and Ugo Amati picked it up for his scoop and score. What receiver went to Oregon, then went to Utah? Is this like I, – I, I have no idea. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea. Darren Carrington. That yeah. was that's a uh, that's an Oregon football just hard hardo fan question. Yeah, but yeah, boys, 
Boys, it was uh, congratulations, to Jackson. This was phase three of their competition <laughs> of figuring out who's a better human. And um, yeah, we're gonna go. You know, fighting. Next. Casey, although maybe you didn't come out on top today, there is a lot of ball left. Perhaps we give you a redemption shot in the near future. Um, pay per view. <laughs> it's gonna be pay per view. And though. fellas, that will be streamed live on the Mental Sweat Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to see Jackson and. And Casey, yeah. yes, pay per view, pay per view only. Me and Brad will be on the call. Ryan Walk will be the ref, times. and he will also be the ring girl. So, <laughs> if you want to see that, subscribe to our Patreon. 